this isn't the best lighting. This isn't the best lighting or, or footage for a video that might possibly go viral. I don't know if it does. I don't want it to go viral because of my popularity or my ego. I want it to go viral so people can understand a few things. I'm gonna take my time with this video. I'm not gonna be fast. I'm gonna open up a monster and we're gonna talk about things. I don't drink monsters often, but I'm having one. So let's do a little backstory. That mango is good. Ultra Fiesta mango. Ultra Fiesta mango. Kind of tastes like skunk. <laughs> so, it all started out with my medical issues. Not medical issues in terms of my health, but medical bill issues. Healthcare issues. When I had a panic attack on February 8th of 2021. Never had anxiety in my life. I've had the butterfly, sweaty palms. You know, before you present, uh, present in front of a class, you, know, you get a little nervous. That's normal. But I had a panic attack. I didn't know it was a panic attack. I thought I was dying because with panic attacks, your skin literally goes numb. You feel like the world is literally fake. Your, your hands don't feel like your hands. Everything sounds literally quieter. Um, you feel like you're choking. You feel like you can't breathe. You feel like you're gonna pass out. You get really lightheaded. Panic attacks are ungodly terrifying. They're horrible. So I had a panic attack, thought I was dying, taken by ambulance to the hospital after my girlfriend called 911. $50,000 in debt later, here we are. Now, why is that? I went to the ER maybe total 10 times throughout this year, this like exact year of anxiety. February, 2021 is when this started. It is February, 2022 right now. So I've had a year of anxiety, a lot I learned. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned like a lot about brain fog and derealization and anyone with anxiety and anxiety disorder that's been diagnosed, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. Um, here's the problem though because right now I am dealing with something that may be a very minor medical thing, maybe major, it's probably not major, probably minor like IBS or something, having some bowel issues. Now this was happening before February, before my first panic attack, before I had or developed anxiety. Um, I was having floating stools, mucusy, greasy stools, which isn't really good, you need to get that checked out. Here's the thing, United States healthcare, this is why I've been putting it off, because it's fucking expensive. Imagine that! Imagine being fucking afraid to go to the hospital because of money. Imagine being worried that you've got something wrong with you, you've got cancer or something, and then thinking and knowing that you, you're, you're, you can't go to the hospital because you're gonna be in even more debt. Imagine money being valued over your life. And I, you know, I'm young, so I also have the stigma that, oh, you're young and nothing can happen to you. Bullshit! I was in fifth or sixth grade and there was this girl named Macy. I'm not gonna give out her last name, but there was this girl named Macy that had cancer in fifth or sixth grade. But you Google cancer and you see on the chart of who gets it, uh, young, uh, young adults, children, teens, very, very rare, extremely rare. I hate medical statistics. I hate it. Oh, yeah, I, you know, Mr. Hodge, I firmly believe you don't ha have ALS because, one, you're young and it's such an extremely rare disease. For one, the people that are young that have horrible illnesses, they're not a statistic. That's their life. They are living that shit. I don't care how rare a disease is. There's always someone out there that's unfortunate to get it. I hate that. I, I hate when people are told, oh, you're young, so you're not gonna get this illness. Or, oh, you're, you're, you don't fit in that age bracket. Or, you know, that disease is so rare, it's so uncommon. It's so uncommon, it's so rare, it's not gonna happen to you. Um, someone that was told that, ex that very same thing got that illness, got that disease. I hate the you're young, so nothing's gonna happen to you mentality. I fucking hate it. I have health anxiety, sure. But this is totally, totally just what I'm saying to you right now. Because there are, there are babies that die every day. There are children that die of diseases every day. There are, there are teens, young adults that die every day. You are not immortal up until 60 or 70. A lot of people's timestamps are punched very early. This is what is so frustrating with the healthcare system. Is one, because it's so fucking expensive, but two, um... It's so rare. That disease is so rare. Pancreatic cancer is so rare. Celiac disease is so rare. I'm referring to things that um, 
I might, might, very rare chance that I might have. I'm having GI issues. A lot of people do though. Um, but you go and you get checked out. Here's the thing for people that need, that, that, that think they have a health issue or that something's going, that something's off. Okay. Here's my advice to you. Go get checked out. Don't, don't give a shit about the money. I'd rather you be homeless than dead. I'd rather you have your car taken away by collectors than dead. I'd rather have the IRS come after you than you be dead because you're afraid to go to the hospital because you're afraid of blowing money. Money doesn't matter. Your life matters. I despise the American healthcare system for that reason. I, I wasn't fired up until I got a referral for the GI and I just ignored it. And I started thinking to myself, holy shit, I'm ignoring a, G, a referral to a GI specialist because I'm afraid of going in more debt. Imagine that. There's no argument. There's nothing you can say to me, no matter how many rich, high, you know, vocabulary, no matter how rich your vocabulary is, no matter what words you throw in with your English language or whatever language that you can say that's going to convince me for you to tell me that money is more important than your life. There is no words in the English language, no sentence you can tell me. You have no argument to tell me that money is more important than your life that you shouldn't go to that hospital because it's expensive. You know how many people have died here in America because they were too afraid to go to the hospital or because they couldn't afford that? My stepmother, if she does not have a medicine for her thyroid issue, she will die. And right now they're struggling with that. I'm not struggling to pay it, but for a while there was a huge scare that they were gonna get taken off insurance and not be able to pay for a medicine that keeps her alive. Imagine! Imagine that. Imagine money being so much more valuable than a precious, beautiful life. I've said this in my lifetime. I've said this my whole life that I love people. I care about people. I want people to be alive. I think the, the, I think humans are beautiful. I mean, not everyone's a good person. There are pieces of garbage out there. Murderers, rapists. You know the deal. You live here and are on Earth. But... I, be I love people. I do. I care about people. I want people to live. I want people to thrive. That is what's important to me. People live it. Money doesn't matter. How dare the American healthcare system be so expensive or even cost anything to where it pressures people like me or everyone to not go to the hospital. Yearly annual colonoscopies, MRIs should be a thing. There are studies that say, well, early detection isn't always going to prevent you from dying or getting sick. Bullshit! I'd rather get caught at stage one cancer than stage four, terminal. Sorry, it's a fact. You have a you have like a 200% chance of living if you're caught at stage one versus terminal. It's a fact. I watched my grandpa die of terminal cancer. He degraded in two weeks, was dead. Now, not because of an American healthcare system issue, but just cancer in general. I'm just throwing that out there. Now, a lot of you might say that I'm fired up for no good reason, but I am fired up for a very good fucking valid, real, real reason. It just doesn't make any sense. It just does not make any sense. There is no argument any of you can tell me that, that validates your opinion that, like, you shouldn't run to the hospital all the time or, you know, be worried about the money. You know, we, we can't afford it. I don't care. I go into debt. I go to debt any day over my life. Yeah, because I get checked out, sure, and it turns out to be nothing major. The health th issue that I have is nothing major, whatever. But we know now. Because if you let things go, there's a chance it could be something serious that you're letting go on for years because you're scared to pay for it, you're scared you're going to go into even more debt, and then you're fucking dead! This shit bothers me. It bothers me so much. There are people out there on their couches, in their homes that are dying because they cannot afford going to the hospital. Life is number one priority. It is. It conquers money. It conquers, um, it, it conquers all finances. It conquers everything. I'd rather you be homeless for a decade than being dead. Sorry, it's the truth. You deserve to live. We know more about outer space and the depths of the ocean, or we know more about the universe and the ocean than we do death. Nobody knows what it's like to die. It's scary. So keep people alive as long as possible. Because imagine if I was to die 
from some illness that wasn't caught because I couldn't, I was scared to go to the hospital because of money. And then in the headlines, young man, young adult dies from illness because he couldn't go to the hospital because it cost too much money. Imagine that. I want you to spread this video, by the way. You watch this video and you agree with it or you don't agree with it, share this video. Again, I don't want to go viral because of popularity. I want the American healthcare system to change. People have died because of this system. I'm not saying America's bad. There's a lot of good things here in America, but the healthcare system is like, no, I can't even say any word that is that equals how bad the American healthcare system is. It's garbage. Sure, the people that work in it, doctors, nurses, they're lovely people. They help you out. But the government, how the government has structured the American healthcare system, it's unreal. I went to the ER 10 ish times and insurance denied all the times I went because of my panic disorder. I always thought I was dying. So every time I went, Eventually, they just started denying all the claims and denying every time I went to the hospital. 10 ER visits later, I'm $50,000 in debt. That's more than one and a half times uh, an annual, an average year at a college, at any university. An average university a year is like 30 grand. I went to the fucking hospital because I'm sorry I value my health and thought I was dying. But let's, let's charge you 50 grand in debt, which makes you even more scared to go to the hospital, which raises the chance of you dying from something even more because you're afraid to get checked out. I want to get checked out. I'm not, af I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't have white coat syndrome. I'm not afraid of doctors or being in a hospital. I'm afraid of going in debt. I'm afraid of, of, of losing things because I want to stay alive. Imagine that you're afraid to go to the hospital. You're afraid to get the help you need to get checked for an illness or a disease or something because money, imagine that that's, that is so unbelievable. That is so, it's so mind boggling to me. It is so mind-boggling to me that that the American healthcare system is so screwed up that we are afraid to go get checked out. It's almost like we'd rather die than have to go in debt. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It doesn't make any sense. This lighting is kind of ominous. It's kind of terrifying. I kind of look evil. Um, but it, it's so frustrating. There's so many people that that get in accidents and they can't afford to be treated or that have diseases, but they can't afford the medication or that, or that have illnesses and they can't go to the hospital or they don't want to go to the hospital rather because it's so expensive. Imagine that. Imagine we have one life. We do. That's a fact. Okay. You can't debate it. We have one life. I believe in the afterlife, but in terms of being here, we have one life. Imagine not going to the hospital and rather just taking a chance on what you think you might have than actually getting help. That's what I'm going through. For months and months, I put off going to, to a GI specialist because of money. Money. Because I'm afraid to, to go into even more debt. Imagine the American healthcare system scaring you so bad that you'd rather stay away from hospitals and just, oh, if I have an illness, whatever. You know, I, I, I'm going to go into debt. I'm going to lose my home, my car, you know. But what it is, is it, what it really is, is you find out you have an illness or you find out you don't. And then it's your insurance is congratulations, Mr. Hodge. You have cancer. You can't afford the fucking treatment. We're going to take your car. We're going to take your home. Healthcare should be free. It is a right, not a privilege. I don't give a fuck if it's not written in the constitution or the declaration of independence. I don't care if healthcare was never written there. It's a human right. We have the right to live. The pursuit of happiness and truth and liberty. Part of happiness and liberty and truth is knowing you're going to live because you get treated. Not being scared away from going getting treated because it costs so much. Fucking unreal.